Hey everyone, Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com and you may remember a video we did the other day talking about the Intel 10th gen processors and us actually having a look at the 10900X and the 10940X. Well today, it's time to look at the 10920X. Let's see what that one's all about. If you like our video content on YouTube, then you're going to love what we put up on TikTok. That's right, we're hip, we're cool, or at least we think we are, but we do chuck a lot of behind the scenes videos on there, so it's definitely worth checking out. You can find us on TikTok at eTechnics or click the link in the description below. So to start with a uh, little proviso, this video isn't gonna be the longest one in the world, purely because we don't wanna stomp over old ground. We all know now how the Intel HEDT processors, at least in the 10th gen, kind of perform against previous generation Intel, as well as obviously AMD, and well, in all honesty, they're not looking too great. Now, while everyone else had reviews of the 10980XE, we actually did reviews of the 10900X and the 10940X, and you can check that out in the description below, so we will link to that. But today, we wanna look at the 10920X. So, basically, we have a very, very similar processor, kind of, I guess, in between the 10940X and the 10900X, with a few slight differences to the cores and, obviously, clock speeds. So starting with the cores, on the 10920X we're looking at a 12 core 24 thread processor. It operates at 3.5 gigahertz and boosts up to 4.6 gigahertz using Intel Turbo Boost 2.0. The all core turbo boost speed is 4.3 gigahertz and using Intel Turbo Boost Max Technology 3.0 it actually boosts up to 4.8 gigahertz. As with the other X series range of processors in the lineup, it has got the same amount of L3 cache and the same TDP of 165 watts. It's got DDR4 quad channel support of 2933 MHz, and really the only key differences are that speed and obviously the core. So pricing is all gonna come down to the region that you're in and what the retailers actually wanna do with that pricing. But in terms of MSRP pricing, for this particular processor, you are gonna be looking at $689. That does, I guess, make it into the more friendly HEDT realm, but it's still a million miles away compared to what AMD have to offer with the 3900X and 3950X, with that being in the consumer realm. Obviously, as soon as you move into HEDT and you have Threadripper third gen, well, it completely blows all the Intel processors out the water. But we wanted to show you the results nonetheless. But first, there has been something that I've seen quite common in our comments on most of our videos, where a lot of people don't understand exactly what components we're using uh, when it comes to the test bench. So let's go through that just a little bit. When it comes down to the test bench, we wanted to make sure that because it is the X299 platform, we've gone for the highest end components we had available. Everything ranging from the motherboard to the graphics card, the memory, and even the CPU cooler. So with the test bench out of the way, we want to show you the performance results. I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly where this is going to fall, especially when comparing against AMD, but let's roll it anyway. Run them glorious benchmarks, or not so glorious benchmarks. Sorry, Intel.
So there we have it, there's the results. Let me know what you think in the comment section below because I feel again, it's a bit of a hollow video. There's not really too much to talk about because it just reaffirms everything that we already know about the temp gen HEDT series from Intel. AMD have stolen the market, but you do have to remember and I've been talking to a lot of people about this lately. You're always going to find people on the AMD fanboy side and the Intel fanboy side. And, and while we haven't actually got the results for third generation Ryzen uh, Threadripper, we have got the kind of consumer parts, which I guess for the most part, even though they are cheaper, they're the ones that are really, kind of, I guess, competing with this. So it's a tricky one to kind of judge. Now, I always like to think that I am firmly in the middle and I'm here, I'm kind of here to give you guys the best possible advice, whether it be going down the AMD route or down the Intel route. And I honestly think Intel have got a lot to learn from this, but I think they will claw it back. You've got to remember that while we are talking about the enthusiast market, the HEDT market, that's a very, very niche market to be in. Intel have such a broad spectrum of products across a variety of different markets that they have got the market pretty much sewn up and they have done for many, many years. And I do like the fact that AMD have, I don't know, called them out on this. Let's call it that. They've called them out and said, you've been complacent for the last 10 years. This is now what we've got to do. What's your answer for it? And so far, this is their answer. But I think maybe the next generation, we're going to see a completely, completely different story. Either way, it's going to be interesting. And the only real winner for the, throughout this whole thing is going to be you guys, the consumer. You're, you're going to be the ones who are going to have multiple choice for what you go with, AMD or Intel. And obviously, that's going to lead to a pricing war. I'm excited, how about you? Let me know what you think about this video in the comments section below and you know exactly what to do. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. See you later guys, bye bye. So this video isn't gonna be exactly, I guess, long. Exactly long, that makes no sense. <laughs> and supports quad... Pretty much the kind of staple when it comes to test bench, uh, benchmarking benches. <laughs> So now that the test bench is out of the way, the real thing that we want to, I guess, get down to, I guess, is, I guess, the performance results, I guess. The best possible advice, for, fresh, gonna be the AMD fan po poise. Fan poise. Fan poise. There's fan poise. Their processors don't even perform to the, blah. <laughs>